It's the 54th annual Chicago Sun-Times BPA Beat the Champs Contest Target Score Show, which allows you, the viewer, to play right along. Setting the target scores today are, appearing for her first time on the Beat the Champs telecast, the 2014 BPAA Women's All-Star Champion and 14-year veteran of Team USA from Kettering, Ohio, Shannon Plahowski. And the holder of eight PBA titles, he's a six-time Team USA member, just back from the WTBA Men's World Championship in Abu Dhabi, UAE, Montgomery, Illinois' own Sean Rash. Today's telecast is brought to you by the Metropolitan Bowling Proprietors and the Chicago Sun-Times, Cubica AMF, Brunswick Bowling, Storm Products, Hammer Bowling, Miller High Life, KR Strike Force, and OnTheBallBowling.com. Hello everyone, I'm Jan Schmidt coming to you from Lyle Lanes in Chicago's western suburbs wishing you and yours a very happy and healthy new year. And once again this year working with me is one of the most recognized international bowlers, Deandra S. Beatty. She's Chicago's very own. Deandra, welcome. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. And Deandra, we have two newbies to setting the target score today, but they're familiar with pro bowling and Team USA bowling just like you. What's it like to represent your country? You know, I think one of the beauties of bowling is that it is worldwide, and both of these bowlers have had extensive experience all over the world competing for their country and winning a lot of gold medals. That's exciting, and we're going to talk more about that throughout the telecast. Right now, let's talk with Shannon and Sean. Hey, Shannon. Hi. You are here today to set a target score, and you're also here to earn some money for a charity of your choice through the Miller High Life Charity Strikes program. Who's your charity and why? My charity is the Alzheimer's Foundation. Um, my grandma's battling it, so it's something personal to me. So hopefully to throw a lot of strikes for that. And I hope you do. In addition to that, I just wanted to ask you quickly, you didn't get much chance on the PWBA tour before it closed the doors. Um, and now we have a PWBA tour coming back. Will you participate? I will. I'm really looking forward to it. Obviously, I was still in college when it folded, like you said. So the announcement of that was really exciting for all of us in that era and time frame. So. All right. Well, good luck today. How about Sean? Hey, Sean. So tell us a little about the charity you're bowling for today. Today I'm going to be representing Make-A-Wish Foundation. Uh, a few years back I got to meet a young man named Ben Doyle that's been struggling with uh, brain cancer. He's been able to beat it three times and uh, is still with us, and it's nice to be able to, to give back to somebody that's you know, been fighting so hard to keep his life alive. Well, that's great, and I'm sure you're going to give him many strikes today. Now, you and Shannon's friendship goes way, way, way back. And I feel like today is like a defining moment in your friendship. What do you think? Well, we have uh, we've known each other for pretty much half our life. Uh, don't want to say how young we were <laughs> back then, but uh, you know, I haven't had much success against women on television. Uh, so hopefully today that changes and to my better luck. But uh, it's going to be a great day. Uh, we're both very pleased to be here and very excited. And. Uh, We'll see what happens. Well, and I just want to remind you and everyone watching that for the last three years, the woman has won. Oh, so good. good luck today. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah. yeah, good luck to both of you. And we'll be right back to get that started after these messages. The charity I chose is the Miami Valley Chapter Alzheimer's. Uh, my grandmother's been battling Alzheimer's and it's progressively getting worse, so it's sad. So it's pretty special to me. So this is my way to give back. Today I picked the Make-A-Wish Foundation uh, chapter. Uh, a few years back, uh, a young man named Ben Doyle was uh, diagnosed with brain cancer. And uh, luckily to say he's, he's beat it three times so far. Uh, but his wish was to bowl with me on, a, on the TV pair uh, somewhere around the United States. And, was able to do that in Las Vegas, and it just was something that you, you never forget. Okay, we're about to get this going, and Sean Rash will make the first shot. We're here to 
set the target scores and have a little fun, educate people on bowling, and learn a little, little bit about Sean and Shannon. Yeah. They've, uh, their friendship goes, like we said, way, way back. So this should be a fun match. Wow. Oh. Great opening shot. You know, I've known Sean for a long time, actually since he was 11 years old, and um, it doesn't matter who's bowling, he does not like to lose. No, I, I think we've all, we've all seen that. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. First shot of Shannon Pawlowski, and she matches him. She is unfazed, and she's wearing her diamonds. It's so sparkly today. Yeah. You know, it's a shame, that, and it's really exciting that a PWBA tour is starting again. It's a shame all the women with talent like Shannon and yourself and Thanks. many that didn't really get a good opportunity to bowl on a women's tour. Yeah, what great news we got this year. You know, the year I graduated, it folded. So what a big bummer. And now we have these great college bowlers coming out, having nowhere to go. And finally, there's a place for them to go. So we're, Shannon and I are both really excited to, to check it out. Just like you, you how, how uh, many years were you on the tour? Mm. Ten full time, <laughs> ten full time, awesome. and then I bowled part time several yeah, years. But that's so great. it's a great experience that every woman should have. I mean, it's yeah. the pinnacle that you're trying to get to. So yeah, and it'll inspire our younger generation to stay with it. All right, frame two. Oh, Ooh. that was almost a seven ten. Almost a seven ten. He's happy with that yeah, seven pin. I think. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So now Sean's going to change balls to shoot his spare. Yeah, and he's going to throw it pretty straight and hard. Typically, when you leave single pin spares, that's how you're going to want to shoot them. And he's going to a ball that's not going to hit One more I thought. <laughs> yeah. It's easier to shoot the spares. Yeah, it's a plastic ball, so it actually doesn't really react with the lane, whereas you know, his first ball, strike ball, is a reactive resin ball. It reacts with the oil. It's going to hook a lot more. So keep that in mind when you're picking out your bowling ball at the bowling center, the ones that you get there are, um, are equivalent to our spare ball. They're plastic, so they're not gonna probably hook. That's a great shot. Yeah, it is. You know, and that's that something that if you're, if you're a novice bowler new to bowling, that people maybe don't realize the importance and value of having your own bowling ball that's fitted to you. Oh, yeah. And that's when you can really start to learn the sport and, and get better at it. Oh, yeah, that's the quickest way to add 20 pins to your game, get a ball that fits your hand. It's so much easier. And is the right weight. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Coming up a little light there. Both of these bowlers had such great 2014s. And, you know, I asked them both what was what was the highlight, you know. Sean says, um, for, for one, seeing his, his daughter grow up and um, take her first steps. And um, he got to win his first title with her in the audience. And I, I think that's really awesome. It really changes your perspective on everything when you have children. Same with Shannon, you know, she has a, a one-year-old now and she's uh, had the, the chance to watch her first steps and, um, you know, see what it's like to be a mom. And, you know, at one time bowling was everything and now it's it's not everything. There's things that are more important. So she, um, she won a big event in Rockford this year. That's why she gets to bowl with us today. It was the, the All-Star, all yeah, mm -hmm. the All-Star tournament. BPA All-Star bringing back the old, what used to be, um, prior to the U.S. Open, it was called the All-Star. Right, yeah. Went back to that, the tradition of that this year for there. the women. <laughs> so that was an exciting moment. Yeah, now it's 2015, and I said, you know, what? what's in store? Like, what do you what do you both hope for? And Sean says, hopefully more titles, more TV shows, maybe a player of the year. Um, he just wants to get people excited to bowl. You know, he's, he gives back to the sport. He really, um, he loves to make people excited about bowling. And he does that, I mean, just by bowling, because people love to watch him bowl. He's a power player. It's fun to watch. He hooks the you ball. You know, Rachel Frozen or Sophia. He's entertaining. I mean, if you watch the PBA yeah. when he's on the show, he's definitely entertaining. He's, he's passionate, that's for sure. He, he um, wears his heart on his sleeve, and, um, you know, he, Don't jinx me over there, you too, women. Well, it's the fifth frame, and this is a big this frame. This is important. Yeah. It is. Another charity. High Life Charity Strikes, and he is playing for Make-A-Wish. Oh. oh, and he gets it. <laughs> that one. He got the $100 for Make a back. Wish, and the Miller Highlight Charity Strikes will be right back with the second half of this game.
I have a two part tip today for you. First one is to have a great target. Second one is to follow through towards your target. If you do those two things, hopefully you have a great result. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Try that at home, folks. Okay, my tip of the day is how you put your hand in the bowling ball. So you'll start with your fingers and then put in your thumb, your middle two fingers, and then your hand lays flat on the ball. Pretty close match. It yeah. is. <laughs> Very close, even though obviously they aren't bowling necessarily against each other, but you always are. Oh, I mean, yeah. You're always competing. Well, these bowlers are for sure. They, yeah. Their history goes way back. And this is the fifth frame for Shannon. That's for the... Um, for the Alzheimer's Association. Mm -hmm. And there she gets it. There's like no doubt in her mind. Perfect. You can tell that that frame, you know, means a lot to both these bowlers. And um, <laughs> this is what this is about. This great event is to give back to charity. And it they, is. They, it's they, phenomenal. 50, 54 years. Well, in the 53 years so far, there's been 22,522 entries. Nearly 3,300 bowlers have received awards. Um, 5,703,000 oh, overall. That was That's last year's cool. entries overall. That's over 5 million with a bad break there for Shannon. Yeah, I think I have a good feeling she's going to pick pick this up. She could. Yeah. This. How much do you think this has generated for charity in over 53 years? Uh, millions. millions. Millions is right. And that is, it's just such a pleasure to be a part of something so great for bowling. And I think it's one of the great things about bowling is um, the, give, the giving back, the charities and getting involved. Because um, everyone bowls. Oh, Almost. and that, that was, was a close. A good try by Shannon to pick that spare up. Everyone has a bowling story, right, Jan? Right. Yep. There's Whether you're doing it casually with your family or on a date or every Thanksgiving, you know, you might not be at the level these bowlers are at, but I guarantee you that people are watching right now are thinking about what their bowling story is. Mm-hmm. And maybe they'll go bowl tonight. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Another strike for Sean. I think you should throw the other one. <laughs> to look at the exact number, two million seven hundred ninety-three thousand dollars raised oh for goodness. Chicagoland charities, and those are split between the Sun Times charities and the Chicagoland BPAA charities. Um, so it helps all the Chicagoland families. And they're just tremendous. They're setting the target score that the they league are. bowlers have to beat. Yes, the league bowlers add their average in and they have to beat what they bowl scratch. So what they bowl just in pin count, the league bowler takes their score Tries plus their at, plus their handicap, handicap, excuse me, for right. that week. And then the, they win a car. Well, it goes they, through several stages. I mean, they could win a car. They could win a car, you're right. That's pretty awesome. The, there's three car winners in our audience today and I think that's pretty special. They came to root, root on our professionals. Picks up that spare. Yeah, so if you, you need to participate in this, I mean, it's $3 to enter, $2.40 of that goes to your the designated charities um, because of all the generous sponsors that help mm -hmm. forego the costs. Mm -hmm. And then they go through the center qualifying, the sectional qualifying, and then the finals. So it's pretty amazing. Um, champion on each side wins a car. Yeah, wow. Sign me up. Great shot by Shannon. You threw that one harder than the last one. Somebody's Make sure. upset. <laughs> she is a pretty fierce competitor. She is. And she really wants to beat Sean. I can guarantee that. We were talking about the cars. They're actually compliments of the Chicago Sun Times and the Chicago Land Four Dealers. And last year, Vicky got an. Got Diagno, got Diagno, yeah. I believe, um, from Woodale Bowl, and Ryan Yanell from Raymond's Lanes. Uh, they won last year the cars, and the year before, the men's champion was Kyle Lane. He bowls right here out of Lyle oh. Lanes, and he's here today. All three of them are here, which is fantastic. I wonder if they drove their cars here. Uh, hey, <laughs> maybe we can go get a ride. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we should remind everyone that um, this is a total three games. It is. Not, so really, you know, Shannon might be down a little bit right now, but there's two more games after this one. Right. She, she's, she's just pacing. Yeah, she's yeah. making him think he has a chance. Sometimes <laughs> that's what she does. Eighth frame for Sean. The lanes are looking a little, oh, a little wow. tight. You can tell that there's a lot of oil on these lanes because the ball isn't moving as much as it typically would for Sean. 
Yeah, the more oil, the less the ball typically is going to hook. Mm -hmm. And they're very, so those that don't know at home, the lane pattern or oil pattern is put down differently in, in any bowling center, different, different tournaments. They're different all the time. And what's interesting is every single time you throw a ball, it changes it's the oil pattern. Because if you can together. imagine, the ball is carving out um, space and displacing the oil on the lane. And that's why um, it's really important to recognize that and move around the lane. And so you're not just standing in one spot on the lane. So f for all of you guys that are going out to bowl tonight, remember our tips from the show. Pick, pick a target for sure. Pick a target, follow through, like Sean said, to, um, you know, the, the follow through is where your ball is gonna go. So it's really important that um, you follow through. You know, you wanna make sure the weight of the ball is swinging your arm, that you're not really, you don't have to throw it. You don't have to be huge to be a really good bowler. As you can see from these professionals, their arm swings are like pendulums. And you're just letting the ball swing on its own. It's really less is more. Oh, that's the one I couldn't make. Yep, very similar to many other sports, right. actually. Exactly. It's Golf. Hard to understand that, yeah. yeah. Shannon up in the ninth. Really wants to set one up here to. Oh, and she, and he mi and she mixes them up. <laughs> hey, so now we're entering the tenth frame. So once again, she'll have Sorry, another yeah, opportunity. <laughs> now she could strike yeah. three the times money. in the tenth. So it would be hundred dollars for each strike in the tenth oh, frame if awesome. she strikes three times. This is going to the Alzheimer's Foundation. Yes. Um, her grandma has been diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Um, her grandma Barbara. So this is uh, this is near and dear to her heart here. Oh, it was such a great shot. That I would have given a, it to her. That was, yes. A good one. I think we should, but I don't yeah, think we can. I know. <laughs> but she can spare it and still get a strike. Yeah. And specifically, her money is going to be um, targeted to the Miami Valley chapter. Right. In order to help them specifically in that market. Yeah. So she's going to uh, spare this up, and she'll have another extra shot since it's the 10th frame. Oh, boy. And she makes it. So we, we have one more chance to get $100 for charity strikes. No changing She's ball. the first left-hander <laughs> female we've had since 1998 on this Whoa. show. Yeah, and that was Alita Sill. Yeah. 728. Oh, wow. Her daughter, oh, yeah. ball. Oh, yeah. no that, strike there. That's all right. She's saving them all up. Her daughter, Autumn, is yeah. here. And her partner Megan, and she's just cheering her on in the back. It's so cute. To well, we'll th we're through. Well, getting ready here for Sean to throw his tenth frame for Make a Wish, and he was actually Ben Doyle's wish. Yeah. yeah he wanted to spend time and bowl with him at a PBA show. Yes. Yeah. And there's another. Strike. There's one for Ben. Get that money, baby. Her Get that his money. Daughter Kaylee is in the back, sitting next to Autumn. They're um, chit-chatting and you know doing baby things. They're both one. Super cute. I saw them listening to the tips. <laughs> yeah, you know they're the future. They're like they're they they might be on the show one day. I mean, it's been going on for 54, 54 years. Yeah, going to the 54th year. Yeah. Great shot by Sean. Another one for Make a Wish, and he's just you know you can tell those important I'll, I'll frames you like size a little differently after he double. throws the the shot because he really wants it. He really wants to be able to give back to this charity. So far, oh this yeah, it's 100%. That's $400 that Sean's going to be giving to the Make-A-Wish. So I get all I uh, one game down. So stay with us for more Target scores. We'll be back right after this. I am Rich. I live in a luxury penthouse overlooking Central Park. When the guests arrive, they're greeted by my butler, Larry. My helipad is being resurfaced, so tonight we travel by more humble means. At my country club, we play parlor games with members of the royal family. Yes, I am rich. That's why I drink the champagne of beers.
around a long time and it's funny how, you know, everything comes back around. We've been friends for 15 years and now we both have little ones and they get to play together and see each other at tournaments. Okay, the first game is completed. Sean Rash, 237. Shannon Pahowski, 201. So still very close. You know, both of these bowlers are evidence of how people develop through youth programs and you know, Shannon was a member of Junior Team USA and then Team USA bowled collegially with in the same at your alma mater. Yeah, we won a national championship together and, and both of uh, these professionals had scholarship for, for college and I think that is um, something to be said about our sport. You know, Shannon um, went to the University of Nebraska obtained a lot of scholarship money, NCAA program. You know, we got all the things that the football team got at school, and that is pretty special. And Sean went to Wichita State University. Ooh. And that's 2-8-10. That's a, that's a tough one to pick gonna, up. Really that's going to be time. tricky. You could get this. Um, you don't see this picked up very much, but you could throw it really hard and hope that the pin bounces off the back and up to get that 10 pin. Yeah, like he's going to do. Oh. oh, and that was a good try. <laughs> Not happy about that. Not happy. No, no, no. I asked them, you know, why should people bowl? You know, the casual bowler that you know doesn't typically bowl. What what reason to, would you give them to bowl? And uh, Sean said, you know, because it's fun. Everyone can do it, and you can go with your family. It's indoors, so the weather doesn't matter. Um, and yeah, Shannon said it's good exercise. You know, she doesn't like running on a treadmill, but she likes getting exercised by bowling. And, you know, we're on our feet all day bowling. Um, people don't realize how much great exercise it actually is. We're throwing 15-pound balls down that lane. It is. It's a tremendous amount of exercise. And then, as you talked about, the scholarships at the schools. And then you can also earn scholarship money at the different programs for the ISBPA Grand Prix Scholarship Program. You go, kids bowl for college as Shannon throws another strike. It's been in existence 24 years. They've paid out nearly 1.6 million in scholarship. They um, award more than 3,000 recipients since 1990. And, you know, it's, so, it's tremendous. Yeah, so parents, sign your kids up for a league so they can help you put them through college. And if you want to find out more about some of the programs, particularly here in the Chicagoland area, uh, you can go to bowlillinois.com throughout Illinois and you can see all the different programs that are out there and scholarship money that you can your children can get yeah you know I know growing both all the three of us Sean Shannon and I we would compete in so many youth tournaments for scholarship dollars um, and I know our you know our parents sacrificed a lot and took us all around the country but come college time they were um, they were grateful for those opportunities because it helped them put us through college all right, and she spares it up. Oh, lane 10. <laughs> Favorite lane. Yeah, there's a lot of money still waiting to be paid out. So, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely get in there and check it out. Yeah, Saturday morning leagues, you know, check in with your local bowling center, see if they have a youth league, sign your kids up for it. You learn a lot about, you know, competition, team bowling. There's so many great elements um, that kids can learn through bowling. Three more than I thought I was going to be. <laughs> the double for Sean. Sean is a native of Anchorage, Alaska. Yeah, yeah. So now uh, he moved with his wife, Sarah. She's from the Chicagoland area. And, um, you know, I know there's in their house, because he doesn't, he's not a Bears fan, but she's a Bears fan. He's a Broncos fan. So mm. there's always this... Um, you know, competition between the teams. They can't agree on that. Right. Big three-bagger coming off of that open in the first frame. Come on, man. Sean was also, he was a part of our telecast in 2012. He joined uh, Carmen Salvino and myself. Oh, really? And he sat yeah. in the booth for a couple of games. Yeah. So. No stranger to hear. I think he's on jet lag, though. He just oh flew back. Gosh. Like, was that yesterday, I believe? Yeah, he just pulled the World Championships with Team oh. USA. Great shot by Shannon. And we're going into the fifth frame. You know, I was Why concerned I was maybe his flight wouldn't get in on time because that is a long flight from Abu Dhabi. And, you know, Team USA had a great Look, performance. Um, bad, it was fun watching them on the live stream while they were over there. They did some really great. Um, the, the camera work was awesome. I don't know if you had a chance to watch it on Bull.com. But, um, yeah, I tuned in and cheered them on. And now he's 
Back to Chicago. Bowling the beat the champs. There's the right. There's a strike for the Alzheimer's. Yep, strike for the Alzheimer's. Finally, and we're midway through, so she gets another hundred dollars. In the Miller High Life charity strikes. We'll be right back. The Village of Lyle is located approximately 25 miles west of Chicago, right in the heart of DuPage County. We're the home of the Arboretum, the world's largest natural museum located right here in the Village of Lyle. And of course, we are the home of Lyle Lanes, which we are here today at. Oh, good, good one. Hi. Okay, this next shot's for Make-A-Wish. It's the fifth frame for Charity Strikes. Sean's charity of choice is um, near and dear to his heart, Make-A-Wish Foundation, as he was able to be a wish for a young boy, which I think is pretty cool. For a hundred dollars. He gets it, right. he's a hundred percent so he far. He is perfect. He's bringing in the dollars for Make-A-Wish. Cha-ching. He also came through a lot of the junior, he was the Chuck Hall star of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I mean, amazing. And the junior gold national amateur champion, he was three time junior team USA member. So yeah. that this is how the kids today, oh my gosh, they're so talented and they have so many opportunities to improve their Yeah, And their even more skills. now mm -hmm. than when we, were, when we were young, there's lots of opportunities and there's even more now. It's so exciting for these young bowlers. Another great shot. Sean is not letting up. No, he's not. Shannon's going to have to continue to strike. Thank God it's not one of the Again, two. it's a three-game total. So right now, it really, it could go any way. It could. Shannon may have to start playing defense. <laughs> she said, it. I asked her, how is she going to beat Sean? She said, I, I might just go back and take Kaylee's toy to make her cry. <laughs> Ooh. Distract her. Now mm. might be a good time to do that. <laughs> she might want to consider it. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know that she'd really do that, though. No, I don't. But, you know, hey. Those children are being unbelievably great in this audience. They are. I have not even heard them. I don't know if, if mine would be if I, if I brought them. <laughs> I don't know. We're here them. at Lyle Lanes in Lyle, Illinois. Cesar and Grace Cananigo are the proprietors of Lyle Lanes, and their GM is Dave... Mastro, and they've just done a fabulous job at getting this center back in shape. Restored. After, yes. Yeah. You could. You wouldn't. You couldn't even tell no. that it was a disastrous flood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful place. And of course, we're fortunate to have the mayor of the village of Lyle here, Joe Broda, which is awesome. Another seven ten. I didn't train her to do it, and you were up. <laughs> She's going to have to make an adjustment to kick that seven out. Maybe a ball change. Well, we wouldn't have this TV show with, if not for the TV sponsors, so I want to quickly reference that we have Craig Johnson here from Cubica AMF, Matt Krause from Miller Coors, 
Natalie Cortese and Jack Sullivan from KR Strikeforce Bowling and On the Ball Promotions. And Rich Blake, Ryan Yanell, and Phil Rodriguez from Hammer Bowling. And then, of course, our media. Dale Bowman, Chicago Sun-Times, always here, mm -hmm. always making sure the Sun-Times, what great coverage they give to bowling. Yeah, and thank you for that, because bowling needs it. It does. And Bill Vint, of course, editor and publisher of Windy City Bowling News, they're always on hand for this. Well, good shot. Sean is making this look pretty easy right yeah, now. Yeah, he's on a roll, for sure. It's a matter of time until they stand up. He gets on those rolls, and then, you know. It's hard key. to stop him. Yep, just keep going. Shannon's going to have to go up there and, like, push him or something. Frozen. You see, you <laughs> There's saw no that rules are in this game, is there? I mean, no, that commercial she... where you tackle, yeah. like, tackle. Shannon, we're encouraging Icing you to. Me. Yeah. Icing me. Drop your bowling ball in his <laughs> backswing. He's so good at balking, Steal his, his daughter's toy. Eighth frame, doesn't like it, oh. but it still strikes. Oh, he got away with one there. He's just Man, rubbing it. In here. He's rubbing it in her face now. Even her, his bad shots Confirm. are striking. Yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes you get on a, you just get on a roll like that, yeah. and, and things work. That's so. when you know you're using First the right ball, really when bad. you can make some mistakes and it still strikes. But. Right ball, you're in the right place on the lane. Yeah. I, yep. have, I have faith in Shannon, though. She's going to turn this around. Looks like she moved a little. Oh, roll it. So seven pin for Shannon. To, for you, Deandra, be the ten pin for me. Same thing. Mm -hmm. So what kind of adjustments do you make when well, you're leaving, there's, leaving those? There's so many adjustments that you could make. For me, you know, sometimes I just want to soften my speed to get it to um, enter the pocket a, a little bit earlier. Um, sometimes I, I move my feet. Sometimes I change my ball. So there's no, you know... There's no one way that you can kick out that seven or the ten pin. Sometimes you just have to, you have to try. You know, some different you the same one? things <laughs> to see which one is right. And I'm sure she's trying them right now. We yes. Should, we should ask her what she's doing. Yeah, she should tell us. <laughs> I don't know if I'd talk to her right now. <laughs> <laughs> Might not be what you want to hear. <laughs> That bowling ball that she's using, the IQ Tour oh. Nano, it smells like apple Messenger. cider. Oh. Oh. So I can guarantee that her ball smells way better than Sean's because it smells like apple cider, even though it's not striking as much. You said your balls smell better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we'll leave that Children one are watching. <laughs> so storm balls have a scent, they which is kind of cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's something fun. She, she has that going for her. Let's ask her. I'm going to ask her what, what her plan is. Sure. Shannon, what, what are your adjustments going to be? Uh, I need a different ball, but I don't know which one yet. Oh, she might change balls. Sean in the ninth frame. <laughs> that a baby. She, her do his daughter Kaylee's cheering him on focus. from the back. Yeah, helping him out just a little bit yeah. there. And we're in the tenth frame, which is another charity this strikes is an frame. frame. Very, very important frame. Make a wish foundation. Working on eight in a row here. Wow. Big game going. Yeah. Possible 279 if he strikes out. So far, he's 100% with his charity strikes. And oh. another. I thought that 10 pin was gonna stand and then we know you're a full-fledged announcer because you would have just jinxed him. So <laughs> it's it's good now though. Yeah, okay. Good. You got away with it. Ooh. You're safe. Good. <laughs> Sean has eight professional titles, seven regional PBA regional titles. Those pro tiles include the 0708 USBC Masters. Which was in the Brewer Stadium, right? Oh, that was so cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And another great shot. You know, he doesn't seem to be that happy with his shots, but it really, when bowling, it really doesn't matter. As long, you know, it's 100% is 100%. Sometimes they just don't look oh, pretty, but they're not going to give them back. No, because there's plenty of times that you throw a great, what you think is a yeah. great shot, and it doesn't you carry. You don't get a break. Right. Yeah. So. Sometimes you got to mix up the pins.
One more for make a wish. Shani gets it. And nice. he continues. That's eight strikes. Oh, 279. Great game. Eight strikes for the Miller High Life. Charity strikes for his make a wish. And now Shannon gets a chance, three chances, hopefully, to strike for the Alzheimer's Association. Looks like she's putting some tape in another ball. So she's going to change balls, the High Road Pearl. Coming up a little light, Not so quite. leaving what we would call the bucket. So she still has a chance for um, that been a lot easier to charity make. dollars if she picks this up, gets a strike. Shannon is a member of the World Bowling Writers Hall of Fame. That happened in 2012. And she won the 02 and 04 Cubic AMF Bowling World Cup as she misses that spare. Yeah, so that's not the easiest spare. It's not, so we're done with two games now. How are your chances looking at beating the champs? Stay with us for that. Three hundred isn't just a number. It is our destination. Shouting at a ball will make it strike more. Nothing is as satisfying as hurling dangerously heavy spheres at stationary objects and watching X's fill the frames. You know it, we know it. So here's to the ballers, the lane dwellers, the alley cats. A new breed is rising from the lanes. We are DV8. Tonight we bowl. first bowling memory is an uh, extremely long time ago, back in Anchorage, Alaska. I was probably seven or eight years old. I used to uh, go to Jewel Lake Bowl in the morning and, and help the gentleman run the lane machine. Uh, then I would watch my brother bowl and then my parents would be there and watch us bowl leagues. So it's been a long time. Welcome back to Lyle Lanes in Lyle, Illinois. I'm Jan Schmidt along with Deandra Aspady, and we're here for the Beat the Champs target score telecast. Sean Rash setting target scores for the men. And Shannon Plahowski setting scores for the women. So for those of you that bowled at home, December 7th through the 14th, your league score, if you entered Beat the Champs, add your three-game total plus your handicap for the three games. And then you can see if you can beat the men need to beat Sean and the women need to beat Shannon. I bet there's a lot of men out there hoping that Sean you know, struggles a little bit this game. Yeah. <laughs> so that it yes. brings his total score down, which if he shoots 300 right now, he actually will break a record. He'll set the all-time record for Beat the Champs. That's awesome, which so, was 815. By Robert Lawrence. It, by Robert Lawrence back in 92-93. So not only would he set the record, but he would also shoot 300, which would be pretty cool for everybody watching. Maybe Shannon will shoot 300. Yeah. The seven pin is another gone. ball change. Good deal. I've tried it every game with a strike. It's the one that after crowd. the first frame are the worst. We have a nice crowd out today. Crowd here, very appreciative of that. Yeah. We have, you know, some BPA officers. Pete, up. Oh. Do the correct side. Oh, I mean, <laughs> did you get the right side? Oh yeah, did the wrong side. Because it finally <laughs> struck. <laughs> oh, yeah. He wiped off the wrong side. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a great crowd here. Beat. Uh, Pete Goches and his wife Lynn, current president of the Chicagoland BPA and proprietor of Sunset Lanes, Keegan. There's a double. He didn't hurt it by hit, hitting the ball. Mundelein Lanes and Bowling Green Sports Center in West Chicago. So. Yeah, you have a few of those today. <laughs> and we have Jeff Johnson, Illinois State BPA president, proprietor of Four Seasons Bowling Center of Freeport, and Tom Sims with his wife Kim, BPA board representative, representing Illinois, and the owners of Fox Bowl in Wheaton. Um, and they are a previous host, uh, Beats Champs host mm -hmm. center. Thanks for being with us. Another strike by Sean, still in the hunt for the all-time record. 
Sean doesn't seem like he's suffering from jet lag at all. No. In fact, we were so worried you had mentioned about him getting in here, and, and Executive Director Bill Duff was also worried about that. So he had Anthony Lacaz here. A backup plan? Yeah, a backup plan. He is the current USBC Championships All Events Champion from 0910 and a PBA Rookie of the Year and a national titleist. So he's here with his wife, Alea, and they live in Melrose Park. Yeah. So well, here on standby. Very... Um, smart to have a backup because with flights today you just don't know oh well wah, wah. Robert Lawrence score is safe <laughs> he could still however get the second high which was Pete Weber you know 708 shot 771 oh, oh yeah that's still really high you know I asked both the bowlers uh, where the coolest place they've ever bowled because you know they've been around the world they've bowled in some awesome places Sean said it was pretty cool to bowl outside in New York City CBS. Um, he was on national TV, so that's pretty awesome. And Shannon said she loved bowling in Singapore. It's very well respected, bowling is in the Asian countries, and she loved the hustle and bustle of the country. It was Christmas time. Um, bowling has so much respect in those countries, and uh, she loved it. She loves bowling in Asia. Oh, that was a great okay, shot. Okay, that was really a yeah. great shot. <sighs> you can't call that a week seven. No way. Sometimes you just, those things just happen. Uh, I'll reference quickly, we do have, again, to the crowd to make sure we recognize all our dignitaries. Chicagoland USBC, Keith Smith, President, Doris Kajigas, Vice President, Keith Kornick, Kornick Association Manager, and Grace Keto, Assistant Association Manager, and of course, many others are here from uh, the Chicagoland and Suburban Windy City board members, plus Paul Egbers. He is the past president of the United States Bowling Congress, always on hand with mm -hmm. us. And, a reference Bill Duff. So many the, important people here. Yeah. Bill Duff, Executive Director, Chicagoland and Illinois State BBAs. That one was Lydia right. Ripsinski, Marketing and Events Director, Membership Services, as Shannon gets that strike in the fourth frame. And of course, Joy LaCour, who is our Tournament Director and our official light, scorer, so. and keeping us on track, letting us know when breaks are coming and what the score is and how much money everyone's earning for their charity. So thank, thank you, Joy. Joy. Sean's career highlight, um, he says, winning his first title in 2006. There's nothing like that first title. It's one you'll always remember. Great shot by Sean. Going into his charity strikes frame for the Make-A-Wish Foundation, he's 100%, right? 100%. Uh -huh. No pressure. Eight for eight. And this had to be a highlight for him, too, though, to be the person that someone selects as their I don't wish. Think would be very happy wish. About what a my special champ. So special. <laughs> and, you know, it's very humbling because, you know, you bowl for a living and that's important to you. And then you have someone like um, Ben. Ben, who all he wanted was to meet Sean Rash and to go to a PBA event. And ben. another one for Ben. Full video and storm discounts, visit stormbowling.com slash PBA. All right, there's just uh, really five frames left. Well, Shannon has six. She's Come bowling on. her fifth frame now in the third Sorry. game, and she's bowling for the Alzheimer's Association, specifically for Miami Valley chapter, trying to raise $100 here on this shot. Oh, that was a good shot. Boy, she has she's... really struggled with that seven pin, yeah. not wanting to fall out. At least it's hitting harder in my purse now. I want to take a moment and think linksvideo.net in Aurora, Illinois. Uh, this show is, is directed by Dave Lockhart. And we also have uh, Chris DeLira. He's on hand here as our floor director. So I agree. And yeah. Autumn was saying, Mommy, move. Move, man. Come on, She's Mom. not very happy with that pin. You can either. do it. No. 
wow, and those have all been really good shots and just not. Yeah, you know, she's she's throwing it great. She's just not. She doesn't. Autumn's trying to tell her. Just give Please, it a little. Mom, come on. Give it a little right extra there. something on, special. <laughs> she might just need to slow it down a little bit. Get her ball to roll into the pocket. That's pretty good. She's doing good. Come on. Come on. Oh. She's okay, begging for it. Wow, everybody rooted for that, yeah. and it didn't happen. You know, sometimes that's the way it goes, too, on the lanes. You, can, you feel like you do, you're doing everything right, and they're just they not falling. Who, who said the left right. is easier? I think there's some lazy messengers today, because some of those should have been knocked out. Yeah, messengers, the, the pin that's flying across the pin deck to roll into the other pin. Another seven-pin spare conversion. She's doing, she's doing good with her spare shooting today. She is. And that's really, the, that's a key focus. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes people just get so focused on throwing the strikes and the excitement of the strikes that you forget how much the spares add up. Yeah, especially kids. Mm -hmm. It's very important for these kids um, bowling today to focus just as much on the spare shots as the first shot. Oh, and then there's Sean. And then there's Sean who can do no wrong. Yeah, he's... <laughs> Yeah. Is she when throwing the towel? When it's your day, it's your day. She just threw everything. I'll be bowling league here next year. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you got a good strike pot. See, sometimes you just, you got it. Big endorsement for Lyle Lanes there. <laughs> yeah. Sean Rash. He's a fan. He's only this easy on TV. Still going for the second high total he is. ever. And he may just he may just get there. Yeah. Oh. He could still shoot what, 795? Yeah, that's a that's a lot of pins. That that's a lot of pins. It, the, yeah, whoever's um, you know in the running right now with their score, they're probably really hoping that he slows down a little bit. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, yeah, the men at home else. that are trying to win an I beat the champs yeah. um, item. The, he's gonna make so you work for that car. Everyone. Yeah. Now, that may be, you know, Shannon is... We should just pull two she's, frames. I'm she's good really thoughtful, then. and I think she's probably trying to help the women that yeah. are trying for that I Beat the Chance. Yeah. I think she's trying to help That's them That's so out. nice of her. And, uh-oh. He's going to take the seven pin, I bet. He's going to help knock it over this time. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's really nice of him. Mm. Or he's just going to lay there. <laughs> what is he doing? Sean Rush, he, okay. he left the building. And Sean, now Shannon wins. I win. Shannon wins. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that was nice. is now out of the rack. Okay, and for those of you at home, no, don't, you, don't try that. Do not run down the lane and go in the pit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think that she can do it though because no, these, because the these bowlers are, at home. Yeah. Unless they're taking. She may have to shoot this one this again. One, yeah. yeah. But let's see if it works. Please. It works. I would have carried that one. Yeah. All right, that was really nice of Sean. Right. We're gonna have to have her reshoot that one. Yeah. Shannon, you're gonna I have to shoot it again. again. All right. <laughs> Sorry, but, you, know, you would have left an hour. Unless everybody no, at home, people are trying to beat no. you. <laughs> Unless they have their friend running down and taking the pin out of the rack for them. Yeah, we have to put a disclaimer: don't try that at home. That yeah. one count. You tell that to all the bowlers that are oh, trying to beat Shannon. <laughs> yeah, it won't be difficult. <laughs> all right, I think she can do it She'll without strike help. anyway. Yeah, she doesn't need his help. She's got this. Come on. Yeah. Great shot. See? She just needed it out there for a minute, and yeah. then she was ready to go. Yeah, she just needed to visualize what it was like. Should have just re-racked earlier. <laughs> Sean had a big year in 11-12 when he won the PBA Tournament of Champions, and that capped off that season where he was player of the year, player of the year mm -hmm. right? And also and won the George Young High Average Award. SB. Mm -hmm. His average was 228. Ah. 
to retire. Man, See? first time I do something good. <laughs> you know? Pay the penalty. I did. Sometimes you maybe don't want to do... I don't know. I, I want to say anything bad here, yeah. but you know he was trying to be really kind. Oh, yeah. So when you get well, you know when you let your guard down, you do. Yeah. I sometimes mean, your focus leaves you, and you know you just gotta focus on yourself. The intensity went away a little bit. Yeah. Yep. But he's still gonna post a really big score. <laughs> I guarantee he would never have done that on the PBA tour. Not he was bowling in a match. A no. <laughs> I think he touched that pin. Yeah. And now that pin, see, it's moved to the 10 pin side. Well, now he knows what not to do. <laughs> Shannon, you're not going to run down the lane and duck no. in the back, are you? No. <laughs> well, she can beat him this game. Yeah, it was part of my strategy. Oh. Yeah. It's all part of her plan. Okay, big strike here. She needs to strike in the ninth. Set one up. She can shoot 237. Shannon drove in last night after league. She pulled her league in Ohio, and then uh, her and her family got in the car and drove here. It's commitment. That is. Great job. Right. There it is. He did, he completely took that 10 pin out of play for her. That was nice. I'm out of breath. Um, yeah. You know, she, lucky that we're having oh, a good spell of weather going on. Oh, I know. See, bowling is exercise. <laughs> Shannon's in the 10th, she and is. she is bowling for some dollars for the Alzheimer's Foundation for her grandmother. That's pretty good. Oh, that right. was a great shot. There's $100. $100. dollars cha I got a chance. I got All a right. chance. Two more chances here. Chance for what? She's put every shot in those frames. Did you get a chance? Yes. Yeah. 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 Strikes. Everyone's been there, guys. Yeah, Shannon's pulled well. great today. It just goes to show you that, you know, sometimes well, you make the right decision and sometimes you don't, and it goes so fast that um, it's too late. But she can, bolt. she can beat Sean this game. She's still alive. Ooh, good job. Ooh, that one might strike. Oh. And another. Another $100 for the Alzheimer's Foundation. This one's important. It is. This one's very important. Yeah, she gets this one. It forces Sean to get the first one. If she gets to tie. Yeah. She strikes oh, here, gosh. he'd have to get a double to beat her. Oh, oh man. That's right. Oh, Great shot. It came back. Great bowling by Shannon Plahowski. Yes. She well, said she, she got two of those 10th frames there. That's fantastic. Oh, yeah. Two strikes in that 10th frame. Kids? She for set Daddy. the target score of 637. And for the Make-A-Wish Foundation, $100. He guessed, he guessed that one a little bit. It was a little faster. He really, yeah. uh, he tr tried a little too hard on that. Think because that he was perfect. For $100, there's a little pride going on right now. <laughs> no, oh, the best so he can do is tie. tie. Spare strike and he'll tie. It was a fun show, nonetheless. I enjoyed being part of it. It was I, fun. I love watching good bowling. Oh I love boy. talking no about bowling. No pressure. I love bowling. Come on, ring 10. 710. Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it. And one more chance for $100 for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Can he do it? Yes, he can. It does. That's great bowling by Sean Rash. Well, that's it for this year's target scores, but we'll be right back with all the totals, so sit tight.
We now have our target scores. Ladies, you must beat 637. And gentlemen, sorry, but you have to beat 752 with your handicaps. And you know they were bowling for the target scores, but also for some charities. So we have Matt Krause from Miller Coors here, representing Miller Coors and wants to present the checks. Sean Shannon, excellent job. On behalf of Miller Coors and Miller High Life, I'd like to present you guys with your check for charity of choice. Sean, here's $1,000 for Make-A-Wish Foundation. Shannon, $400 for the Alzheimer's Foundation. Thank you very much to Millers, everyone involved. Uh, greatly appreciate it, Make-A-Wish. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you to Miller and Miller High Life and everybody that's been here. It's been great, and we'll take this back and give it to them. Thank you. And Shannon and Sean, thank you for ringing in the new year with us. We have these great commemorative plaques for you to remember this day. Go. And Shannon, it was so nice of you to take it easy on Sean. I wanted to make sure 2015 started off good for him. You know, he's got a lot to bowl right after the first of the year. So, Well, that was really nice. Sean, great bowling today. Um, tell us a little about what you were thinking just going through this match. But Shannon, you bowled great. You had so many strikes, $1,000 for your charity. It's, it was awesome. Uh, you know, just kind of thought about the tip that I gave, you know, following through towards my target and filling frames. and. Uh, very fortunate that Shannon left that stub and seven pin a few times, and uh, it was just a lot of fun. You know, fun atmosphere. It makes it a little easier on television. Uh, you know as well as Shannon and I that once we're on TV, sometimes the pressure gets a little different. So it was nice to have a little bit of fun today and, and throw some strikes. Well, you guys had a great match. It's always good to take your own advice. Congratulations. Thanks for being here. Happy New Year. Yeah, and that about wraps up the 54th annual Chicago Sun-Times BPA Beat the Champs Target Score telecast. Thank you for kicking off your new year with us, but don't let it stop there. Go to bowlillinois.com and see how you can participate next year. Special thanks to Sean and Shannon for giving their time this holiday season to help the Chicagoland charities. For Deander S. Beatty and the entire production crew, I'm Jan Schmidt saying so long from Lyle Lanes. Happy New Year, everyone.